All right, Brady Lawrence, Buck Nasty in the house. But uh, wait a minute, so is, is something missing here? I don't know what happened to uh, the mastermind behind Buck Nasty, old Zeke Zishi. He's not in the house tonight, Jib. Looks like Bo Buck Nasty's on a solo tour. Very conspicuous by his absence, but hey, you know, Buck Nasty, he came within a hair of becoming our Proven Ground Pro Franchise Champion at the Ryan Buckley Memorial Cup. What a night he had at the Ryan Buckley Memorial Tournament all the way to the finals. Buck Nasty and came within a whisker of winning it. But as we see, he's not sporting championship gold tonight, but he's trying to put himself right back in the championship picture, Jim. But there's a massive roadblock standing in his way. And you ain't kidding when you said massive. Maybe this is why Zeke isn't here. He didn't want any part of the one man riot, Frank Wyatt. I guarantee I wouldn't want any part of that big wrecking machine of a man right there. Holy cats, that is the size of old school. That's like earthquake, brother. That is one big, huge hoss of an individual. Earlier on, we saw Jake Parnell successfully defend that 0-1 Junior Heavyweight Championship. Well, this is a former 0-1 Heavyweight Champion, the one-man riot, Frank Wyatt. If he'd have been in the uh, proving ground, he might have become a Junior Heavyweight Champion there. You never know. Frank White, he has two loves, beer and beating people up. Well, I tell you what, Frank Wyatt, he harkens back to the golden age, brother. A no nonsense, no frills, ass kicker, beer drinking brawler. He does, he kind of reminds me of the old crusher and the uh, bruiser back in the day, Jim. Oh yeah, I mean, he's definitely old school. I tell you what, Bucky Collins, he doesn't want any part of Frank White. He's very reluctant to get in that ring. Well, Bucky's confident, but let's face it, Bucky's also a ring general, and he knows he cannot rush into this proposition. He is at a humongous weight disadvantage. Collins finally makes it into the ring, and uh, he's hightailing it already. Yeah, Bucky Collins, this is evident. He knows exactly how huge making the first mistake against Frank Wyatt could be. Fighting from underneath, fighting from behind against a man the size of the one-man riot, that is absolutely a mountain to climb. But Bucky Collins, buck nasty, he's damn well aware of it. Look at the size of that behemoth. Frank White, oh, and he's got the spritzer bottle. How'd that get left out here? I thought that was always within six foot of Johnny Alves. I still want to know what's in that spritzer bottle. I'm gonna have to ask Brad Gass. He got sprayed with that earlier tonight. I don't know if he smelled better or worse. How close did you get to him? Oh, I didn't want to get that close. I try to keep my distance from uh, Mario and Johnny. Well, I tell you what, Buck Nasty and the One Man Riot, <laughs> that's a tongue twister. The One Man Riot, Frank Wyatt and Buck Nasty. I tell you what, and again, Buck Nasty not wanting to get in the grips for obvious reasons, Jim. I think he'd get ragdolled. He's frustrating the big man, and that's something you don't want to do. I think that's something he has to do. I talked to Frank Wyatt earlier in the back. I asked him how he's feeling. All he said was, I just want to get this match over with. I want to beat up Bucky Collins. I want to become a contender to the franchise championship, and I want to drink a whole bunch of beer. Well, those all sound very possible for Frank Wyatt. I'm going to tell you that for a 100% fact. Bucky Collins seeming distracted by the crowd. Not too, love lo not too much love lost between... Buck Nasty and the Proven Ground Pro crowd. I think this is a mistake for oh, Bucky. Oh, look at this. He's he's crushing the hand of Bucky Collins. Luckily, Bucky quickly got a hold of that rope. He's forcing a break of the handshake. He forced a break of the handshake, Jim. I think he might have to fight this match one-handed. 
for God's sakes, I don't know if I've ever seen somebody go to the rope on the handshake before, Jim. I've seen a lot of matches. I, 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 if, if I've got a list of them, it's a short list. That might be a first. Unbelievable and free shot. Look how confident the one man riot is in there. And why wouldn't he be? Bucky Collins, he's gonna take advantage of the free shot. I don't know how much advantage he can actually take of it, but uh, it better take what I would call full advantage at this point because, oh! Bucky goes for a ride. And that was not the ride you want to go on, I'm gonna tell you right now. That is one uncomfortable landing at the end of that ride. But once again, the size and strength of Frank Wyatt. I think this could be an absolutely insurmountable task for Bucky Collins. And and look, I mean, he came within an eyelash of winning that franchise title, Jim. And, and look, look what he has to do to even get back into contention for that belt. Frank's just got a big smile on his face. Some losses are bigger than others. Some roads back have bigger roadblocks than others. Bucky Collins, I think his road was completely cut off. All right, Bucky pumping up into the ropes and down on the ground. Yeah, I think the uh, one-man riot has quickly become the one-man road close sign for Bucky Collins. Bucky very reluctant to tie up with the one-man riot. I, and again, for obvious reasons, there's no way he can go, I mean, a traditional collar and elbow hookup with this. Oh, but go, that'll Jim. do it. That'll do it. A good old thumb to the eye. Yes. And then a little stick and move for the old Buck Nasty. Couple chops, but oh. No effect. No effect on the big man. Wyatt absorbed every one of those blows and oh, but a heel right to the bridge oh. of the nose. And that took Wyatt down to one knee, but Bucky, he's wasting precious time. He's celebrating, but oh, he gets elevated into a back body drop and a scoop oh, no. and a huge slam for his troubles, Jim. Buck Nasty in trouble. Buck Nasty's in monstrous trouble here because he's up, elevated and down in a monster of a suplex. Oh and Frank God. Wyatt's about to take this one home. Oh, but Buck Nasty rolls out of the ring. Brady, I felt the entire Lawford Theater shake on that backdrop. Wyatt attempted to bring Bucky back in by the ears. Bucky broke free and grabbed an ankle. And Frank Wyatt, he's down on his back. Bucky needs to take advantage of this. And he needs to take advantage now. Up over to oh. big splash. Collins. On top of his game, finds the opening and makes it count right there, Jim. And Bucky getting a rush of confidence, but still only a one count. Oh, oh. and a big kick to the bread basket. And a nice double drop kick to the back of the head. Bucky, he has really got the offense going. And his biggest splash as Bucky could come up it. with, it could be a no, only a two. Got to stay on top of Wyatt if he wants to win this match. Oh, and Wyatt delivered uh, and that's how to do it. to the midsection. But uh, I tell you what, Frank Wyatt, he could obviously absorb a tremendous amount of punishment. Buck Nasty, he's eager to dole out more punishment, so I think it's a good thing Wyatt could absorb it. He's going to need it at this point. Look at Bucky. Trying for a submission. Stretching here. out that arm. He may be choking out Frank Wyatt right there too, but the but the referee's right on top of it. Wyatt trying to get himself to the ropes. And no, he's just gonna flip Bucky over. Wasn't a choke, and uh yeah, the massive frame of Wyatt once again pays dividends as he <laughs> chucks Bucky off Bucky. Bucky's desperate at this point, Jim. I mean, he's controlling his offense right now, but you can tell he needs something big like those big double knees right there. But look at this, pulling him right out of the corner. What a task. 
match in and of itself with a man the size of Frank Wyatt. You're still right there in the ropes. Oh, see what I mean? And he just kicked him right out of the ring. Bucky's going to have to stay on that air game. He's going to have to uh, try to tire Frank Wyatt out because there's no way that you're going to beat him on strength. There's no way Bucky can match power with Frank Wyatt. No doubt about that. And there's a prime example with that shoulder block. It's like getting hit by a truck. Look at Bucky go. Looks like a tumbleweed in there. Oh, this could be it. Huge Samoan drop, and that is it. Why isn't, oh, why would That's Frank right, Wyatt nine. capitalize on the pin? Oh, there's why, because he followed up with a huge leg oh, drop. Oh, this That's is it. it this is it. Bucky Collins kicking out at two and a half. Where did Bucky find that? You gotta be kidding me. Bucky Collins managed to get that shoulder up. Kind of a sloppy pin on the part of Wyatt though, Jim. I'm not gonna lie to you. I think the one man Wyatt thought that that was it. You're gonna need I did more than too. that to I keep can't Bucky lie, down. But you took your eye off Bucky Collins oh. and that's a cardinal sin, Frank Wyatt. And he's paying the price right now. And look at Bucky kick it high gear. Oh, Double knees right it. to the back of the head. And Bucky is on a roll right now, Jim. And he's waiting for Frank to get up and on the ropes. Frank Wyatt trying to get up and oh. takes more knee. Another set of knees right to the temple. Almost Touchdown. a damn near a three, Jim. He's got the big man reeling. Oh, he has got Frank Wyatt seeing stars. He has rained knees and kicks down on the head of Wyatt. Wyatt up. Uh-oh. Oh, scooped and tossed halfway across the ring in a belly-to-belly -belly suplex fashion. And a three Oh, are you oh, kidding me? That was about a two nine-tenths and a half. The crowd can't believe it. I can't believe it. Frank Wyatt damn sure can't believe it, Jeb. You know, there was some little three-year-old girl that was sitting in the front row, had a whole pack of cigarettes, was getting ready to give him to Zeke Sishi, and he's not here tonight. Unbelievable. She went out and got him menthols. That's, that's very impressive. Well, I uh, read on the uh, interweb somewhere that hobbits actually smoke menthols. Oh, and meanwhile... Bucky goes to that second rope. He didn't have anybody to tell him not to. And look at the results. The big man smelling blood. What's he got in mind here? He has got a mo Oh, Bucky oh, slipped nice out too. Like Houdini. Doing the milk can trick. There might still Nobody be. Nobody could ever explain oh, that. Oh, and did you see that low blow by this. Bucky Collins? Bucky Collins with sliced bread. Oh. Following up, That's a gotta be it. big kick south of the border and a little sliced bread off that second rope and Bucky Collins finds himself a win by hook, but mostly by crook. Definitely by crook and is, uh, I don't care how big you are, a low blow, that's gonna take you down. Frank Wyatt can't believe it, unhappy. But uh, Bucky Collins right back in the title picture, Jim, no doubt about it. Like it or not, that's a huge win for Buck Nasty, Bucky Collins at the happening.